Mercedes-Benz CLS shooting brake is a new breed of vehicle that fits firmly in the sporty estate club that premium car manufacturers are now keen to exploit. There's clearly something appealing about a fast 5 or It's the classic you can have it all model, offering practicality and performance in one slick package. Mercedes-Benz isn't holding back on the hyperbole either claiming that the CLS shooting brake is automotive independence at its most beautiful. That's arguable since the concept of automotive independence is as nebulous as it comes, and beauty, well, that's in the eye of the beholder. It's called a shooting brake which, to the person on the street, is essentially a coupe with a tailgate. A sort of jumpy pistate. If you would dot inside the CLS there are five seats but the middle seat is a token gesture and only fit for small people. It's not much more expensive than the coupe and the go faster AMG versions are only slightly more expensive than their Fords or equivalents. Quality interior there's no doubting the CLS shooting brake is a classy piece of kit that'll appeal to the well yield. There's loads of hand stitched leather. A luggage compartment lined with high quality carpet and if you want to really set yourself even further apart from the proletariat you can fit optional designer aluminium loading rails or a curiously described designer wooden luggage compartment floor. Cherry tree wood has been harvested for the CLS and it combines with the inlaid smoke toke and aluminium rails in the boot. This is the sort of stuff you see on yachts. So if you're moderately loaded you'll feel positively Abramovichesque if you buy one of these and feel satisfied that your boot looks like a boat deck. The shooting brake offers five interior colors, five trim designs and three qualities of leather to choose from. Customers have a choice of three exclusive wood types, high gloss brown burr walnut, high gloss black ash and satin finish light brown poplar. A completely new addition comes in the form of porcelain interior detailing and mats alongside a mixture of satin and high gloss finishes used on the metal surfaces. Practicality and performance in terms of practicality, it's pretty imperious. The boot offers 590 litres of stowage space with the rear seats up and 1550 litres with them down. That's bigger than a standard class estate. But nowhere near in a class though. An optional trailer coupling is also available. Choice of engines. The intra-level model is the CLS 250 CDI Blue Efficiency which produces 201 bhp. Combined fuel consumption is 53.3 miles per gallon with CO2 emissions of 139 gkm and 062 miles per hour time of 7.8 seconds. There's also a six-cylinder model, the CLS 350 CDI Blue Efficiency. It produces 261 bhp, returns 47 miles per gallon, emits 161 gkm of CO2 and accelerates from 062 miles per hour in 6.6 seconds. Then there's the rather more bonkers 5.5 litre petrol engine 63 AMG version that goes like a bullet. Safety systems more than a dozen driving assistance systems to prevent traffic accidents and reduce the severity of a collision are included. Active blind spot assist and active lane keeping assist are available as part of the driving assistance package. In combination with Distronic Plus and the pre-safe system that preps the car if it thinks an accident is imminent. Both assistance systems are not only able to detect an unintentional lane change or vehicles in the blind spot, but they can also correct the direction of travel by gentle brake intervention if the driver ignores the visual or audible danger warnings. 2014 updated the tail end of 2014 the CLS shooting brake had a series of updates applied, inside, outside and under the bonnet. Most notable is the addition of a new intra-level 220 Blue Tech diesel model, which is economical and refined, but not particularly fast. Refinement is further helped by the new 9-tronic 9-speed automatic gearbox which is available on the 220, 250 and 350 Blue Tech diesels as well as the 500 petrol. 
still operated off the column stalk, it offers even lower RPM at cruising speeds to help with economy and dashiki. Inside there's a new steering wheel, familiar from the firm's other models and a new 8-inch color screen sat on top of the dashboard, though it's still controlled by the company's command rotary dial rather than the new touchpad seen on this class and glass. Outside new lights at the front make it look more aggressive, whilst the lower bumper design is more in keeping with the family face. Will the car attract the attentions of British luxury car buyers? Read the full Mercedes-Benz CLS shooting brake review to find out. Performance, there are three diesel engines to choose from, comprising a 220 Bluetech four-cylinder 2.1-litre unit with 168 bhp, a 250 CDI four-cylinder 2.1-litre unit that delivers 201 bhp and a 3.0 litre 350 CDI V6 with 255 bhp. They are all capable performers. The 220 Bluetech completes the 06 2 miles per hour benchmark in just 8.6 seconds, while the mechanically similar but more powerful 250 model manages the same in just 7.7 seconds. Choose the range topping diesel 350 Bluetech and that time drops to only 5.7 seconds with an electronically limited top speed of 155 miles per hour. Initially all engines came with a 7-speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters for manual changes and stop start as standard, but in 2014 a new 9-speed auto was added. The 9-tronic automatic gearbox is smooth and refined while offering fast shifts and more relaxed cruising at speed Parkers recommends we think the 350 CDI is the best of the lot, offering a perfect blend of performance and refinement. The 250 CDI is decent but it can sometimes feel like it's laboring and can get a little noisy when revved hard. Handling It's difficult to find a flaw in the way the CLS shooting brake deals with corners. It's got bags of grip and it hardly leans at all, which is surprising when you consider its sheer size. Although it's only a minor complaint, the CLS isn't quite as responsive on turning as we would like. That said, the steering is well weighted with a pleasing feel that lets you know what's going on under the wheels, the inclusion of Mercedes standard fit electromechanical direct steer system has not compromised things. The brakes are powerful and the 7-speed automatic is swift and unflustered. The AMG models include extra driving modes that can be changed through a dial on a central console. First there's the so-called controlled efficiency setting which means stop-start is always enabled. Then there's Sport, Sport Plus that deliver faster gear changes and better throttle response. There's a manual setting too. For most driving situations we prefer the sport mode that offers a perfect compromise but controlled efficiency is obviously best in congested areas because it reduces fuel use. There's also a button to turn off the ESP and a button that firms up the AMG's suspension for sportier driving. Thankfully it's not rock hard and is perfectly usable on the motorway. Equipment, there are only two trim levels, the standard model and AMG Sport. You can, however, spend an arm and a leg when loading up your car with optional extras. The standard Mercedes-Benz CLS shooting brake equipment list is pretty generous on all models offering an MP3 compatible CD radio featuring a twin tuner, Bluetooth connectivity, a USB connector socket and a 6-inch display, satnav, a dab radio, Bixen and headlights, leather upholstery, fog lamps, a three-spoke leather-covered multifunction steering wheel, cruise control, climate control, parking assist and 18-inch alloys. The 350 CDI and AMG Sport models get a satnav upgrade called Command. This offers a bigger screen, voice activated controls, a 3D display and Google Apps for local traffic information, weather and street view. Mercedes-Benz CLS shooting brake accessories if you want you can go for the easy load securing kit with rear sill protector, privacy glass, 
aluminium load bay rails, a tow bar, semi-activate suspension and a wooden floor on the boot. A fancy Logic 7 audio developed by Hi-Fi specialist Harman Kardon can be specified for an extra cost and this will offer a natural 360 degree musical experience for all passengers but if that's not enough go for the all sinning Alden Sing 1,200 Watt Bang and Olaf Zen surround sound system. There are a number of options packages available including the exterior sports package that includes a twin pipe exhaust system and sportier 18 or 19 inch alloys. The AMG sports package comprises a three spoke multifunction sports steering wheel, sports pedals, sportier 18 or 19 inch alloy wheels and AMG detailing on seats and head restraints as well as the extra driving modes and operated suspension. If you want you can go for the exclusive package which is a more luxurious affair and that features so-called passion leather upholstery and ambient lighting. In 2014 the standard kit list was upgraded, and the 7-inch integrated screen for the command system made way for an 8-inch model that now sits on top of the dashboard like a portable tablet. And while LED lights were made standard, a new LED multi-beam system that bends light around corners and automatically toggles between high and low beam for oncoming traffic was added. Comfort, if you do end up feeling a bit battered after a long drive then you have probably got the seat setting wrong because Mercedes-Benz CLS shooting brake comfort levels are excellent. Supportive seating, with a wide range of adjustments. Coupled to a silky smooth ride and a quiet cabin gives this car a serenity that's hard to match. The 350 CDI, in particular, glides over the bumps. The engines are refined although the 250 can get a little vocal when pushed hard. The AMG is loud but that visceral engine roar is entirely welcome when you put your foot down. Practicality CLS shooting brake practicality is excellent thanks to the sheer amount of amount of load space on offer. With the rear seats up there's a total of 590 litres available and that mushrooms to 1550 litres when you put the seats down. That's pretty impressive and the Mercedes-Benz holds its own when compared with the BMW 5 Series GT that offers 440 litres with the seats up and 1,700 litres with the seats down. It's pretty useful when you compare it to the Infiniti FX that only has 410 litres with the rear seats up and 1,305 litres with the seats down too. There's a token middle rear seat so it is to all intents and purposes a four-seater. There's plenty of legroom in the back and Mercedes has also designed a step in the roof lining to give rear seat passengers more headroom. Inside, there's a pleasing amount of storage space dotted around. There are two cup holders in the front and a central storage box in between the driver and passenger. The electronic tailgate that shuts and opens at the touch of a button is a welcome addition. Safety you'll find Mercedes-Benz CLS shooting brake safety levels hard to beat. This car has not been tested by your own cap yet but you can expect 5 stars when it does. The CLS shooting brake scrumple zone is for independently acting impact levels which enables forces to be distributed over a large area in the event of an accident. While the whole passenger cell has been so well constructed that it should give occupants extra peace of mind. As well as 9 airbags and standard fit child seat fittings the shooting brake is fully loaded with systems to try to keep you out of trouble and they include stability control, brake assist, drowsiness detection and adaptive high beam assist that changes the headlamp beam automatically when oncoming vehicles are detected. There's also active blind spot assist. Alarm keeping assist that warns the driver if he or she has drifted over the white lines without any indication. Mercedes adaptive brake that features hill hold assist is also standard. Buyers can opt for brake assist plus that provides additional braking if need be as well as Distronic Plus, a radar based adaptive cruise control system that brakes the car if it thinks it's getting too close to the car in front.
Other options include speed limit assist that tells the driver what the speed limits are at any given time, the anti-whiplash neck pro system and night view assist that helps to identify pedestrians or other objects in the path of the car at night time. The CLS also features pre-sif brake that automatically brakes the car if it thinks an accident is imminent. Reliability, you'd be extremely unlucky if you ran into trouble here, because we expect expect Mercedes-Benz CLS shooting brake reliability to be very strong indeed. The German car maker has proved that it can build robust cars with plenty of gizmos that won't give up the ghost after a few years of ownership. Build quality is exemplary and the engines have already proved that they're extremely robust in other Mercedes models.